1st Chronicles chapter 15. Sanctification to bring up the Ark of God. David erected buildings for himself in the city of David, prepared a place for the Ark of God, and set up a tent for it. Then David said, No one but the Levine should carry the Ark of God, because Adonai chose them to carry the Ark of Adonai and to serve him forever. David assembled all Israel in Yerushalayim to bring the Ark of Adonai up to its place, which he had prepared for it. David gathered together the descendants of Aharon and the Levine. From the descendants of Kehat, Uriel the chief, and 120 of his kinsmen. From the descendants of Merari, Asiah the chief, and 220 of his kinsmen. From the descendants of Bershom, Yoel the chief, and 130 of his kinsmen. From the descendants of Elitzavan, Shemar the chief, and 200 of his kinsmen. From the descendants of Hebron, Eliel the chief, and 80 of his kinsmen. And from the descendants of Uziel, Aminadav the chief, and 112 of his kinsmen. David called for Zadok and Eviatar the Kohanim and for the Levine, Uriel, Asiah, Yoel, Shemaiah, Eliel and Aminadav. And said to them, You are the clan leaders of the Levine. Consecrate yourselves, both you and your kinsmen, to bring the Ark of Adonai the God of Israel up to the place I have prepared for it. It's because you weren't there the first time that Adonai our God broke out against us. We didn't seek him out according to the rule. So the Kohanim and Levi'im consecrated themselves to bring up the Ark of Adonai the God of Israel. And the Levi'im carried the Ark of God on their shoulders with the poles on it, as Moshe had ordered, according to what Adonai had said. David spoke to the chief of the Levine to appoint their kinsmen to be singers making use of musical instruments, lutes, lyres and cymbals, to play loudly and raise sounds of joy. So the Levine appointed Heman the son of Yoel, of his kinsmen, Asaph the son of Berakyahu, of the descendants of Merari their kinsmen, Aten the son of Cushiahu and with them their second-degree kinsmen Zakariahu, Ben, Yatziel, Shemiramot, Yechil, Uni, Eliav, Benayahu, Masayahu, Matachyahu, Eliphalehu, Migniahu, with Ovid Edom and Yeel the gatekeepers. The singers Heman, Asaph and Aten were appointed to sound the bronze cymbals. Zakariahu, Aziel, Shemiramot, Yechil, Uni, Eliav, Masayahu and Biniyahu were to play the lutes for Alamot, high-pitched music. Matachyahu, Eliphalehu, Mikniahu, Ovid Edom, Yeel and Azaziahu were to play lyres to lead the Sheminit, low-pitched music. Kananyahu, chief of the Levine, was in charge of the singing. He was put in charge of the singing because he was skillful at it. Berakyahu and Elkanah were gatekeepers for the ark. Shavanyahu, Yoshaphat, Intanel, Amasai, Zakariahu, Biniyahu and Eliza the Kohanim blew the trumpets in front of the ark of God. Ovid Edom and Yechia were gatekeepers for the ark. Bringing up the ark with joy. So David, the leaders of Israel and the commanders over thousands went to bring up the ark for the covenant of Adonai out from the house of Ovid Edom with joy. Since God was helping the Levine who were carrying the ark for the covenant of Adonai, they sacrificed seven young bulls and seven rams. David, all the Levine bearing the ark, the singers and Kanania, the music leader for the singers were all wearing linen cloaks, 
and David was also wearing a linen ritual vest. So all Israel brought up the ark for the covenant of Adonai with shouting, blowing on shofars and trumpets, and cymbals sounding with lutes and lyres. As the ark for the covenant of Adonai entered the city of David, Michal the daughter of Shah, watching from the window, saw King David dancing and celebrating, and she was filled with contempt for him.